Welcome to the IROM Model Builder tutorial series. In this video we show how to model the contact behavior at travel stops in the IROM Model Builder software. Let's start with the accelerometer model described in previous tutorials. Contact elements are required to limit the travel range in overload situations. Examples are mechanical drop tests for reliability analysis, or systems in which the driving voltage exceeds the pull-in voltage. Between the orange mass body and the gray anchor blocks are four in plane travel stops. The red arrows visualize the contact gap and the operating direction. Here, the initial contact gap of all stopper elements is 9.4 micrometers. In addition, there are several out-of-plane travel stops at the top, and at the bottom of the mass body which limit displacements in vertical direction. The behavior of contact elements is characterized by a contact stiffness factor, and a contact damping factor. General contact parameters are assigned in the simulation settings window. Specific data for individual contact elements are defined directly by the stop command. The stiffness parameter controls the penetration depth, and the contact damping factor is used to reduce or eliminate contact bouncing. Let's illustrate the influence of contact stiffness. In a first run, we move the mass body in the y direction and analyze reaction forces. The assigned sweep range exceeds the contact gap. The slope in the left part of the curve is defined by the spring stiffness of the accelerometer. After the contact is closed, the slope increases by the contact stiffness of the travel stops. In a next simulation run, we sweep the voltage on the upper conductor from 0 to 500 volts, and plot the static displacement response. All imported load step commands are automatically transferred to the simulation settings window. The following simulation results show the voltage displacement relationship. After pull in, the stopper elements limit the travel range to 9.4 micrometer. The penetration depth is about 40 nanometers. The same simulation is carried out with a 10 times larger contact stiffness. The penetration depth is now reduced from 40 to 3.9 nanometer. In the next step, we analyze the contact behavior in a transient simulation. A voltage pulse is applied, and the displacement response is observed at the orange mass body. Now restart the simulation. Due to the high kinetic energy at the time of impact, the penetration depth for the same voltage is increased, and there is strong contact bounce at the high level of the voltage pulse. Here, the contact damping factor has been set to zero. Energy dissipation comes entirely from the assigned modal damping ratios. The next simulation is carried out with a much lower contact stiffness. If the contact stiffness is below a critical value, the stopper cannot withstand deflection-dependent electrostatic forces. The conductors could touch and the system will become unstable. Let's reload the transient model setting with high contact stiffness and add a much larger damping factor. In the next simulation runs, you can adjust the damping factor step by step to reduce or to eliminate contact bouncing. Suitable values are typically between 1 and 10. With higher damping factors, bouncing can be largely eliminated as shown in the animation.
In the last example, we want to illustrate the structural behavior of MEMS known from drop tests in the event of a hard impact. The modal damping ratio of higher order eigenfrequencies is usually smaller than the damping of the operating mode. Here, the damping ratio of all higher order modes is reduced by a factor of 4, and the actuation force is enlarged by the same factor. Additionally, the contact damping values are optimized to eliminate bouncing. Suitable contact models are very important to model the transient response of microsystems in overload situations. All model settings including the behavior of contact elements can also be exported to Simulink, for case studies, in a system environment. Ask for our trial version and run your own examples. I hope you enjoyed this video.